What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to publish a prototype and a spec sheet in Adobe XD in under two minutes. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to publish a prototype first. But before we do that, what we have to do is we actually have to turn this into a prototype so we can have more than one page. So I'm going to make this headline link to the, um, you know, the mobile version. I'm going to make the mobile headline link back to the home page on the desktop version. So that's good. Now all we need to do to go ahead and publish this prototype is come up here and click on publish prototype and we can give it a name. So I'm just going to give this uh, YouTube demo. We can allow comments and we can create a public link. And when this finishes uploading, so now that it's published, I can do a few things. I can open this link, I can copy the link and send it to someone, or I can copy an embed code. I haven't copied an embed code yet, but I'm pretty sure that'll just allow me to, you know, put it onto a website or into an HTML document or something like that. But if we go ahead and click open link, you will see this is exactly what this published prototype looks like with Adobe XD on someone else's end. So you can see we've got this nice window here. Uh, let me just get rid of that. Um, let's blow this up full screen. And here it's a bit larger. We can see this. And now if we click on the headline, it'll take us right to the mobile version that we had set up before. So now the next thing I want to show you how to do is publish this spec sheet. And it's just as simple. So we're going to come back up here to this icon, click it, click publish design specs. It's in beta right now, but it works pretty well. So we're going to, I'm going to name this YouTube demo specs and create a public link. Now that this spec sheet is published, this gives us two options. We can click open link and we can click copy link. Now for the sake of this, I'm just going to click open link so you can see what whoever you send this link to, you'll be able to see what they would see. So I'm going to cl click open link. And here we go. Look at this. This is our artboards right here. So we can see desktop version and the mobile version that we have. And if we hover over this, like you can see where all of these uh, are pointing to. So if I click on this, and so now you can see these styles and character styles. So you can see these colors and character styles. These are all colors that are used in this artboard and all the character styles used in this artboard. But here's something else that's cool too. If you click on any element, so let's click on this headline, we can see all the information about it. We can see the width, the height, the rotation, the X and Y coordinates. We can see the character styles, you know, what font family it is, what font size it is, the alignment, uh, the AV, the line height, the color, and the opacity, and we can see this content here. And if we click this content, it'll copy it for us. So this is already pretty neat. There's not going to be any confusion on uh, what colors I'm using and where I'm using them. It'll even give me the opacity that I'm using it at. And let's see, we can switch this from hex to RGBA as well. So if you're working with developers, there's no reason that they should not know what exact color to use and where to use it. Because here's also another really neat thing about this. This. If we click on this headline here, we can see the X and Y coordinates, the height, the width, the rotation, the font family, the font uh, size, the alignment, the AV, and the line height, the color, all of that stuff. And down here we have this content box, and if we just click this content box, all we gotta do is click it it's all copied and we can just paste it anywhere we want and because this headline actually points to our prototype um, well it is in our prototype because it actually points to the uh, iPhone 6 and 7 plus version of this website you can see down here on the right because we clicked on it it'll show you the target that it is heading to it'll show you the transition the easing effect and the duration all right there so that is that is just amazing and let's see if we click on something else here like let's click on this icon here we'll see the exact width and height of the icon the x and y coordinates and then we click on this one with the color we'll see the colors now this blue and you can copy that blue so right there all i did was click and it's copied and again we can change this to rgba click and now that is copied so that is amazing i think that this is something that is going to really uh 
keep any confusion between designers and developers this is what this is what we need realistically instead of all being on the same software and uh you know paying for the same things there's not really a need for a developer to be paying for this unless they're also a designer uh but this is something that would i i can see smoothing along the process of handing off a design to a developer so much i don't see that I, I see this getting rid of so much of the confusion that is is out there in the world between designers and developers and i'm really excited to start using this tool with any other developers that i work with so everything that they need to see is in this design spec sheet and it's super simple to use and in about five more seconds i'm just going to show you how you can update these if you ever make a change on this all you gotta do is come back up here to this button click on publish prototype and click update link and this will update the uh, like the prototype link and then if we need to come back here and update the spec sheet again just come here same thing click on publish design spec sheet and then update link and that is it your design prototype and your uh, design specs are both published and you can share these links with whoever you need to share them to developers people reviewing the design anyone all right guys that's going to be it for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down if it helped you subscribe and if you like the content that i'm creating on this channel head on over to my patreon account at patreon.com forward slash zachary r newton where you can help me create better videos every week until then i'll see you in the next one